Hello friends and subscribers to Industrial Alchemy. Today is the big day, the day that I finally replaced this sill that I've been working towards for the last several weeks. I'm going to turn the camera around and give you a recap. So in previous videos I showed you how I replaced the broken blocks with new ones and I filled that corner with concrete and I cut holes in the top and installed anchor bolts, not anchor bolts, but anchors for the sill, uh, and filled that whole top with concrete. And now I have purchased all of the wood that I need and gotten some of it cut to the right size. So all that's left, hopefully, is to finish jacking up the parts that need to be jacked, the floor, which I started last week a little bit, uh, so it just needs to come up a little bit more, and this wall a little bit, and then start cutting and putting the pieces in place and hope that nothing too uh, surprising turns up. So, time to get to work. Hello again. This is actually the next day. I did not, I got so into working that I didn't do any more recording yesterday. But between yesterday and today, this new sill is almost done. I got all the pieces into place, and now what's left to do is to continue tying everything together. And uh, you can see over here, I still have a pretty big pile of wood. I'm uh, go inside now, cut to, cut to the inside, and show you what that wood is for. Okay, here we are on the inside. You can see how everything's connected there, but these floor joists, originally they uh, sort of, part of them sat on the foundation, part of them lapped over the top of the sill itself and part of it was actually cut into a notch in the sill. Uh, that's I've cut them back to be flush and I will be installing joist hangers to hold them but before I do that you can see that between water damage and damage caused by plumbers having huge notches in them these joists up here are in pretty bad shape. So I'm going to be using that wood in that pile to, uh, I'll be using that to sister onto these joists, which means that I will attach the good wood, the new wood, to the side of the old joist. Uh, and there's, I think, one or two that's bad enough that I'm going to go all the way over to the beam in the middle of the house to have it sit on. The rest are okay, they just need some help on the ends, so it'll be like a four to six foot length of sistering. So that'll that'll give it a solid connection over here to, into the joist hanger, and it will give it a solid top uh, along the, the top of these joists to later attach a floor to. Um, as you can see, I had to cut the drain pipe coming from the basement, or not coming from the bathroom down to the basement because I, they had to have cut into the sill because that's where it was sit the, the elbow was sitting. Um, so that's that's not going to work. I have to do something different with with that drainage when it comes time to plumb the house. But that's a problem for another day. And the other thing I have still to do is you can see probably that none of these uh, studs, except over there in the corner, are actually touching the sill. Uh, that's because the bottoms were rotted and I cut them uh, out also to make it easier to get these pieces in here. Um, and I will be going along and jacking up these individual studs so, because they are lower than they should be right now, even though they're not touching the sill. So jack them up closer to where they're supposed to be, and then 
can show you the one that I've already done. If you can see it with the backlight. Back that was the backlit. There we go. Um, so you can see I cut off a big chunk of the bottom of that and put in a new 2x4 underneath and then a sister to the side to tie it all together. So this one is all finished, attached to the sill, and I can move on to the next ones next time. I think I'm going to start at the other end and get that corner taken care of because that's the only other stud that has weight on it right now. Uh, so have one on each end taken care of, and then the others should be pretty easy from there on. But I'm, it's been a long couple of days, and I'm tired, and I want to get home and have some lunch and clean up before I have to go to work. So that'll be all for today. Peace.